Hey, what's up everyone? I'm rocking for Tony. I'm going to cutthroat Christina. <laughs> and I'm here to ask her some questions. Got it. And get a little close and personal. This is the third time I've done it. Her name is like a tongue twister. So We didn't know that. Uh, why did you pick this name? To me, to get messed up on or what? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to make life hard. I wanted this name to follow me uh, through my career and be the bad, uh, you know, shadow following me that I just can't get rid of. So I'm <laughs> technically from the Bay Area, not really. I'm like an hour north of Sonoma County, but everybody says it's the Bay Area. So okay. from my generation, everybody listened to Mac Dre. <laughs> Um, the hyphy movement was really big when I was in high school. Yeah, we got, actually I got pictures of you. I'm gonna put it in this video of you getting hyphy at my club. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I have it, dude. I have pictures. <sighs> it's in my blood. Um, wait until you see it. I have videos I'm putting. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it, I was going through a rough time. Okay. Rough time. Um, but yeah, so a part of Mac Dre's, uh, thing was the cutthroat committee. Oh. So. Did not know that. But it's proper spelling because grammar is really important. It's not cutthroat with a K. Please don't put a K. It's cutthroat with a C. <laughs> we like proper English. <laughs> totally. Oh my goodness, you're so funny. Do you have any hobbies? I do. Tell um, me about them. Besides my job of hair and makeup, mm -hmm. I just really like doing that in general. It's my passion. It's just what I like to do for fun. It's super expressive. It's an art. Um, I like to play volleyball, but oh, I haven't I know been, that. yeah, I haven't been able to in a long time because there's not really a whole lot of it going on. That's but. funny that you said that because I grew up and my dad always pushed me to do sports and I hated everything. The only thing I really liked was volleyball and skateboarding. Yeah, I don't know. It's just easy. It's fun. I don't know. Whenever we go to the lake or the beach, I just well, that's cool, man. Throw pepper, pepper. That's awesome. I like that. Uh, do you have any talents? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not something I should really talk about in a video. Come on. Um, I mean, I don't really know what talents I have. Okay, we'll go to the next question. What's your favorite vintage movie? Vintage movie. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if this counts, but we actually, so I just had a baby, he's six, almost six weeks old, and he wouldn't shut up. And so my fiance put on Fantasia, mm -hmm. and Disney Fantasia, and I completely forgot how much I love that That's movie. That's a great movie. So I'm not a Disney person, but I was like, oh my God, it's from like 19, the 1940s, 40s, yeah. I think 1940 flat. And it's an amazing, like artistic, musically, musically like forward, movie that I right. mean as a little kid I adored that movie I was that kid VHS over and over right. and over it's great it's a long movie too and there's some, actually some dark stuff in there too it was really creepy there's some there's some <laughs> crazy stuff in there the end uh the the uh, night of bald mountain I think it's called that's some crazy stuff at the very end oh you're fancy you know all the names yeah, of the I'm, acts so they're doing a movie of that just a bald mountain Oh wow! And the devil what, scene. Which? Oh wait, it's which scene is it? It's at the very end with the big devil guy that comes out. Oh yeah! They're doing a whole movie just on that scene. That's smart. That's cool. It's like loop crazy. it all around. Yeah. I just like the nuts. ostriches and the, yeah, the centaurs. Cute. <laughs> yeah, And then they have the what is the the hippo and the is it a bird and the hippo and they're dancing together yeah. or something like that. Yep. It's totally cute. Um, let me see. What's your vintage? What's your best? or your most favorite vintage item that you own? It could be clothing, it could be something oh, like a vase. It could be anything, anything vintage, period. It's hard, because I have a lot. I have I collect vintage hair styling things, uh -huh. so like the vintage dryers. I don't have the hooded dryer yet, but I really want a hooded dryer. I've got one outside. I want it to like work. <laughs> I want to use it, it'd be right. cool. But my new favorite vintage item actually it was gifted from you. Oh. It's my vintage baby carriage that it's freaking dope. Um, I can't wait to use it this summer. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you to see you walk up with it, with you guys together and baby inside the stroller. I'll take a picture, you gotta take a picture and send it to me. Like, <laughs> I will. I'll put it in the video. It's yeah. really cool, I've had it for a while. I use it for some prop stuff and I'm like, oh dude, it'd be perfect, so. It's sick, it's, I love it, it. I love it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, you already put where you're from. If you wanted a vintage car, what would it be? A 62 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. 62 caddy? 62, All yeah, right. that's like- Color? I know a, a, what color? Like pearl. Like I a never, pearl white? Yeah, I never right. really like white cars, but like, 
clean, <laughs> bagged. I love the fins. I know a lot of people hate on caddies. But oh, I like caddies are great, man. They break down a lot, but you know, that's fine. You can put newer motors in there. Yeah. You, get, you know? <laughs> What's your favorite old song? Besides Mac Dre. I mean, that's technically old now. That's what's really weird. Like, the 90s are old. Okay, um, 90s, early 2000s. Um, my favorite vintage or classic song. I don't know. I just, I love all Johnny Cash. I know it's really stereotypical, but it's just he something. He was good, though. His lyrics and everything were awesome. Yeah, and, like, you can crank it up in the car and, like, it just, like, because I like to have the bass in the car and everything. Right? It just, it sounds good. It's something everybody can sing, too. It's just pretty much all. Yeah. I mean, walk the line. It's classic. I'm telling you. Yeah, totally. Um, so you, we've shot a long, we've known each other for a long time and we've shot for a very, very, very long time. We have a cover, hold it up. There's a cover on Retro Lovely. We did this a long time ago. Very like, cool. This is in my bathroom. Like two years ago, maybe? A couple of years ago, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. this was my outfit from when I, um, won. flex when I won Miss Midnight Mass, actually the last Mid Midnight Mass that, it was it like, the last happened. One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of <clears throat> our girl, Verona. <laughs> Um, they right. haven't done another one, but I'm yeah. hoping that they do soon. Totally. Summer. Yeah, it'll be good. That was fun. We did a lot of shoots. We did shoot actually at that at that one too, like there. Mm -hmm. I'll put a couple pictures. So I, I have a list. I've been looking. We have so many pictures. We have a picture from I think it was 2010, and it was at swing time. I was just thinking about that. I was like, yeah. when was the first time we ever shot? And it was at Sacramento swing, swing time. time. And it was like Parisha was there. And I can't remember, there was like a group of us and we were all like together, shooting together. I remember, I think that was the first time I met Trisha and I'm the first time I met Megan. Damn, that was a long time. It was the first time I met you too. It uh -huh. was always like fanning, like, oh my God, the Bad Bones photos. That's so cool. And I got to, the first time I got to shoot with him. That was, that was cool. awesome, that was fun. That was crazy. That was the one on, uh, I think it was what, on Madison right by the freeway, huh? Because I got super wasted and had somebody <laughs> drive me to in and out and it was like Yeah, and that's the right street. there. It's like right across the street. It's perfect. I didn't want to walk. <laughs> Don't ask me who. Um, <laughs> how funny. So yeah, she just had a baby and she just got engaged. Show the ring. It's blinging. Oh, I took off my fake nails, so. It's okay. Don't judge. She does that. <laughs> uh, what would your future plans look like? What do you want to do? And like maybe the uh, vintage pinup industry. Yeah. Any ideas? Um, I mean, after being in the game for like ten plus yeah. years, yeah, longer than that, yeah. Um, I was doing a lot of contests because they're fun and it's fun to travel and mm -hmm. you know invest in new wardrobe and like just kind of stunt. But I want to be more behind the scenes. I want to do a lot more hair and makeup for shoots. I want to just be the creator instead of like in the right. forefront. I mean, and I she still is really good. Thanks. I he still wants. want to shoot too, but totally. not for like, for, for fun, more for fun. I mean, it's always for fun, but right. I mean, contest life is cool. But I mean, after I got Midnight Mass, I was like, I think I'm done now. <laughs> he said, you're like, this is it. If I win this, I remember you told me this year, I'm going to do it. I'm going to win it. I got to, I got to well, do I got, it. Like, the, I got like, I didn't place and then I got third and then I got second and right. then I moved to LA and I couldn't be in the contest. I mean, I entered and then it just didn't work out. Right. And then I moved back home and then I like finally got it. But yeah, right. I was like, I'm just, you know. I'm like, if I do it, I got it. Not that there's no like age cap for sure. that kind of stuff, but it's just like. You're an accomplishment of what you want to do. You know, it's like, I really want to and you strive for it. And, and I want to just honest, like when I go to shows now, I want to like look at all the cars and like see you know be able to see the changes that you know you remember a car from last year right and then be like oh cool this is what they added on to it whereas yeah, when totally. you're like in contest life it's like hurry up well i'm always late yeah we know that one <laughs> always late so hurry up get to the contest try not to sweat everything off find somewhere to put all your stuff tony's always let me dump my stuff in his trailer <laughs> um when I, when we're at the same shows and you know then you're so exhausted that you just want to kind of go home and I just want to walk around and have a beer and push my baby and look cute <laughs> right? and maybe do the hair and makeup for the girls at the yeah. contest. Yeah. She, I mean, I'll, you have to give me some before and afters of some hair and makeup you've done for some ladies and she is really good. Really, really good. And she does great with her own stuff as well. Thanks. Same yeah. Thing. I mean, I've been licensed for oh, coming up on, I think like eight years now. Oh wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I didn't really, I didn't That's really crazy. That. That's probably crazy. Um, what inspires you? Newness, I guess. 
trying to see what's out there that you could kind of tweak and make different. Yeah. To make your own, make it new. I don't know, not, not like, I don't know, not like in a competitive way, just like inspired by what there already is. I guess it's kind of like the take that we have on the pinup community now for most people is like, we're looking at what's going on sure. back then. Yeah, and, and then making, making it sort our of own. transform or something in today's world type thing with it. Alternative. Ooh, yeah, alternative pinup. <laughs> Is that a new word that we just made up? <laughs> it's like hashtag it in a way hashtag hashtags. Hashtags. Right? Yeah, right. NorCal pinup. There's like no hashtags for Nor or there's no photos attached to like NorCal pinup. So like, What's up? we gotta Nor make Cal that happen. People should do that. You gotta make it happen. Let's do it. Let's start a trend. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Hashtag, hashtag trend. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Um, what are turnoffs in the industry that you don't like? nasty people like the nasty photographer not nasty meaning like big heads like ego like yeah like. like we're all here to have fun and we're all here to do kind of the same thing and right inspirations come from other people like nobody is original nobody is original anymore and that's totally okay that like you see something that I did, I see something that you did, and we kind of just like made a baby and made it like something different now. Right. And a lot of people get butt hurt <laughs> about, about using that kind of, I don't know, mentality. And then also just, you know, like the big ego people that don't want to take the time to talk to you. Like I obviously like yeah. to talk. And you go up to somebody and it's maybe somebody you've always wanted to shoot with or talk to, or you've read the articles that they write or anything like that, sure. or they're car painters and then they, if they don't want to, they're too busy. That's just like such a heartbreak. Yeah. It's so. funny you said that because I wrote, and I think it was at like Billet Proof and it was like, I was like five, six years ago. And like, I went there and I saw people that I haven't like met or talked to, but I've talked to online and we're totally friendly. And then I get there, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Hey, it's me, tell me what's up. And they're just like, Psh. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I was like, what the hell, dude? Yeah, like. And I was like, hey, I'm just trying to be cool, trying to be nice, be friendly. Reach out to people, you know, it's like being kind and being friendly and and and, and connecting with people, especially that we have the same common interest is a great thing. So it's sort of, a, it is a letdown sometimes when that happens, we're like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's the best way to phrase it is when there's no kindness around you in the industry. Sure. Which I don't see often. So that's nice. <laughs> I maybe I, I just surround myself with nice people. I think I think recently though in the past like I would say three years it's gotten way better. I feel like I feel like sort of maybe like six seven eight years ago it was I think it was worse. And I think there's a lot of girl groups, a lot of different ones now in the like the northern area, and um, they're really supportive with each other. And I think it's really awesome. Um, I like applaud you all the girls if you're watching this good job keep doing that and i think it's it's really helping our industry and it helps support everyone in the community to do better and it gives them courage to go out there if they're afraid or um or scared to to put themselves out there it's helping them you know strive what they're going for so i think it's really good yeah this is everybody circling around growth which is what yeah. we've all come from totally exactly okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. I was like looking for pictures of me and you and I was looking at like my first photo pictures. I was like, oh my gosh, so embarrassing. This is the same with my hair and makeup <laughs> stuff. Like, you know, it's today's January 6th and everybody's posting their 10 years ago. Stuff. Right, I know. And I'm like, I don't want to because I'm trying to focus it on not like for my social media is changing with what we were kind of talking about right. earlier, kind of focusing more on being the artist, the stylist. Sure. And the makeup I did. Not just on myself, like I have brides that I'm like, damn, like it's not bad. It's not like the worst, but right. when you see your, the growth the that growth, you've yeah, had like, in 10 years, this. I'm like, and everything that I've learned. <laughs> That's what Megan said too, when she did that, she just see the thing, she said, my eyebrows, my damn eyebrows, what was I thinking? <laughs> the, like my eyeliner, I just didn't do, I didn't wear lipstick, like, which you don't have to, but like. <laughs> When you're pale and then your lips are pale, you can't really see them. Right. It's all good. It's all good. Cool. Growth. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you would like to add to uh, and tell anyone? Um, I think you guys should all like and subscribe to Tony's channel. I think that Thank what, you. this interview is really cool. I'm really glad to be a part of it. Um, I think it's really cool to learn about everybody else that comes on. 
and um, yeah, be kind. I like that. I thank you very much for tuning in and checking out Cutthroat Christina. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Give us a like, thumbs up, you know those things. Subscribe and we appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> nice. I want a high five. Oh wait, let's go back with a high five. <laughs>